All right, hi everybody. James here. So, what I've been doing, James, uh, since you've been gone is, first of all, I had a little health scare that you're aware of. <laughs> so, I've just been working my way back on, um, I've been starting the upper body workouts with barbell inclines. You know, we used to do these second or third, but I've been doing it first because I'm not going real heavy, so you don't have that risk of a tear or whatever. But I've just been going up to sets of eight where I can do it comfortably and honestly just not push myself real hard. Okay. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Everybody watching on the videos have been telling me, take it easy, be careful, be careful. So I'm listening. I'm not going too crazy. You know, the, I was thinking about this on the way over. You know what's going to be the hardest thing for us today? What's that? Not going crazy. Yeah. Because that's all we're used to. That's all we've ever been used to. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to be smart. And uh, train a little differently now, for now. So people were wondering like, oh, what happened to James? And um, I, didn't, I didn't really get into it. You, you changing shifts on your job or anything. Uh, career shift uh, back in logistics where I've been for 30 something years. So unfortunately it was a first shift job, which that and the times you train didn't really mash up. I missed a lot of the gym, but after a certain point, I got a home gym, so I started getting slowly back in it. Um, with things happening now, the 19 and stuff, um, the job thing changed, so back open for days and back in here with my man. <laughs> yeah, so what happened was um, the virus slowed down his business and he lost his job because of it. So, <clears throat> you know, it's amazing. I don't want to downplay the virus, but I know more people that have been impacted by losing their job. Yes. And, and having tremendous affected. family stress. And like I said, I'm not downplaying it, but I, I wish people put a little bit more focus on the effects that it has on families. And probably some people get mad hearing me say this, but it's just how I feel. So look, the virus sucks, but it is good to see you. So <laughs> I don't want you to come back this way, but I'll take it. There are some good things that came out of the virus. So we're back to, we're, we're back to hitting it. And the good thing about James too is he's real smart with his money. He's not out there um, going crazy, blowing all of his money. So he's in good shape. You know, I try to tell you guys, yeah. keep that keep that emergency fund. So yeah. so we're, we're in good shape. James is in good shape. I'm back. So what we've been doing is, uh, I've been going up five pounds every time I do barbell inclines. Um, I've been doing three sets of eight. So I'm trying to think, today's Thursday. So Monday I did a quarter and a 10, I believe. I think I did 205. So I would try to do um, five pounds more on each side. So we're gonna move on to slight incline dumbbells. We just got a little slight, probably like a little 10 degree angle here. Um, I do the 80s today. I have been doing like sets of eight with it. I'm gonna try to do three sets of 10. Um, the first set I did, it was, I probably could have done maybe a couple more reps, but it was getting pretty close to failure. So again, just working the intensity back, been real careful. So three sets of 10 here. All right, so we're gonna do shoulders. I stole this straight from Dana Lynn Bailey. So if you guys know her, make sure you tell her I'm stealing all of her stuff. It's a really good little combo here. So you start with a press. And then step back. Just like that. That felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. So straight up. How many reps? 
So you can see right here on James's shoulders and upper pecs, this whole area is working really good right there. That's pretty good. Not bad, huh? So a couple things I noticed with this, when you're pressing, you gotta really focus on keeping your elbows tucked. Your elbows kinda wanna come out like that. And then when you're doing the row, I would rather see you step back instead of doing a straight upright row. I'm not a real big fan of weighted internal rotation, but if you step back, um, I think you're okay. So real good combination here. Add some weight when you do the second part of the superset. What we're doing is four sets here. On the overhead press, we do about eight reps, and then we do about 10 after that. So we're doing a little more rear delts here with the cables. Um, we just done two sets of 20. The reason why I'm doing the cable is because I don't like bending over right now uh, to do the dumbbell swings or any of that stuff because I get lightheaded for my blood pressure medicine. So I'm gonna stand up and do these. And a little bit safer for me right now. Um, whichever hand you have on top on the first set, just switch hands on the second set, put your other arm on top. So just two sets of 20 here. I think I made a mistake. I think I did the same hand up. That's okay, you guys can let it slide. Pretend you didn't see that. Stretch, squeeze. Stretch, squeeze. Okay, I lied. I'm not doing 20. <laughs> Good Lord, that burned. Okay. All right, so we're moving on to banded chins. Um, this is the most underrated back exercise. I really love these. I love how you can maintain perfect form, get up nice and high into the movement. And I um, also don't want to do any bent over rows because I was telling you I get dizzy uh, for now. Give me a month. I'll be back to doing the rows. So four sets here. About eight to 10 reps. Back when uh, James on the Mr. Ohio, or the Francois, he had what I think was probably the best back in the state. He, was, he had an unreal back. And I remember when you would diet down, I remember I was doing my sets of eight to 10 on the chin-ups. That was with just body weight. He was doing sets of 30. <laughs> he was a chin-up machine yeah. when he was dieted down. Um, but we're gonna have to, you got some pictures, right, of your back back then? I got pictures of them. All right, we're going to put some pictures up so you can see his crazy back back in the day. I like doing like a medium grip. I like doing overhand grip too. I don't really like the underhand chin-up grip. I just feel it forces your wrist uh, kind of into an uncomfortable position, and then it can strain your biceps tendon. I've seen people irritate their biceps uh, really bad. So I like to do these overhand. All right, we're gonna do kettlebell row. Um, I don't wanna be bent all the way over, but using the bench, I can kind of stay upright. Um, and I wanted to do some kind of row. So I didn't really wanna put my chest on a pad and put all that pressure on my chest. So this is, if you remember, this is the form that um, Jordan uh, showed. God, that's been like a year. Uh, muscle doc, Jordan. Jordan Shallow. Um, he showed me this form many, 
many, many months ago. So we're basically starting here um, and kind of pulling this way. So it's more of this way. Good stretch. Those feel really good. Um, so hit three sets of eight like that. And I'm a little more upright, so it's not, it's not uh, making me lightheaded. You definitely don't have to do kettlebells on these. We're just in the room here, and that's all we have is kettlebells. But you can use the dumbbell on this. There's nothing special about the kettlebell. Although I will say this, the kettlebell you can pull in tighter to your waist, and you can lock in your lower lat a little better. So I do, I do think there's a little difference when you kind of lock it in at the bottom. All right, so James and I are going to finish today with a super set for buys and tries. It's actually a lot of forearm too. We're just doing a row push down for 12 reps, and then we're going to ride into pinwheel curls, which we're going to do eight reps with each arm. So we're actually going to do five sets of this. You got to get a little extra for your arms. You got to walk out of here with an arm pump. I mean, did you even really train if you don't have an arm pump? Probably not. All right, well, that's it for our little upper body work. It's just a getting back into the groove workout. So if you want to see more James, let me know. But it's good to be back in here with you again, that's right, man. Brother. Good to be back in here. So we had a good time today. We're just working our way back up. So appreciate your all support, and we'll see you next video.